I want to talk to you today about chemical and physical changes and then chemical and physical properties. There are two pretty simple concepts in chemistry, but sometimes it can be hard to identify what exactly is going on in a reaction. Uh, and if we can classify it as being chemical or physical, that might give us one clue as to what's happening. So we'll start out with chemical changes. Uh, and the definition right here is with chemical changes, you have when chemical changes happen when atoms are connected in a new way. They're, a new substance is formed and it has new properties. That means something is changing in the way the atoms are arranged. So here we have these two molecules here. These two molecules are the same, the top and the bottom. They have the same arrangement, two red atoms and a black one. Um, let's say it's carbon dioxide. There's one carbon and two oxygens. If this were to go up through a chemical change, one possible change it could do would be for those atoms to split apart. If we look over here, now they're arranged differently. They, they're not connected the same way they were before. It is a new substance. Now I have two uh, red molecules where the atoms are joined together. Uh, the, both the oxygens came off and made two oxygen molecules. And then the two black ones, I'll call them carbon, uh, are now separated. So I have two atoms of carbon and two molecules of oxygen. That's a chemical change. It no longer has the properties of the original molecule because there are different molecules now. They're arranged differently. There's four indicators of chemical change that need to happen um, or that you need to be able to recognize that usually when you see these think to yourself something is happening. There is a new substance being formed. If light or heat is given off, that's a chemical change. Something is changing when it burns, or if light is given off, a new substance is being formed. Another one you're going to see a lot in chemistry is called a precipitate. Uh, a precipitate is a solid is formed. Specifically, if you want to add this in, a solid that is formed when you mix together two liquids. Okay. So if you pour two liquids together, and when they come together they form a solid that is called a precipitate obviously that solid wasn't there before something new formed chemical change another common one is when a gas is released if you see <clears throat> uh, something start to smoke chemical change generally and the last one is a color change and you have to be careful with color changes because we're talking about a color that wasn't necessarily there before so you mix two things together or you heat them up or something and it changes color something happened that there is a new substance there okay so the keyword is new substance the opposite one is a physical change physical change is just the opposite no new substances are formed they're connected the same way they were before they're just moved around a little bit for lack of a better term and each substance has the same properties so here I have two red molecules and two black molecules they're separate okay if I put them in the same container that's a change they're in the same container so it, it might look a little bit different but it's just a mixture of two of the different things that were already there the red molecules have the same properties they had before, the black ones have the same ones they did before, but now they're just mixed together. Uh, think about any some of the drinks that you might make, like if you've ever made Kool-Aid or tea, you're just mixing the drink mix, or lemonade, you're mixing the drink mix with the water. Nothing is really changing, it's just you're putting two things together and then drinking them at the same time. So it has the same properties as before. There's a couple other types of physical changes. Um, mixtures is a common one when you just put two things together and they have the same properties, nothing new happened. We have a mixture. A phase change is the other. Uh, water is the best example. Water can go from a solid liquid to a gas. And when it goes from a solid to a liquid, we say it melts. It's still water, right? Ice to liquid water, it's still water, nothing changed. And when it goes from a liquid to a gas, it evaporates and it turns into steam. Still water, it's just now it's in a different phase. When phase changes happen, nothing new is happening in the molecule, 
we just have uh, the molecules kind of spread out a little bit, right? Solids are really close together. Liquids, they still kind of have a general shape, but they're spread out. They can move past each other. And then gases are kind of wild and crazy. They go wherever they want. So it's really the difference solid, liquid, and gas. Notice the atoms are the same in all three pictures. Uh, the only difference is they're spread out. So that's an example of a physical change. <clears throat> The last one is pretty obvious, uh, changes in size or shape. Uh, let's say you had a block of wood and you cut it in half. Well, yes, it changed, but it was just a physical change. It's still wood. Now you have two pieces. They act the same way they did before. Nothing new really happened. So those are the indicators you want to look at for different types of chemical changes. You need to be careful with some, though, because if we look up here at phase changes, if we go from a liquid to a gas, a gas is given off. It, the, the liquid starts to boil and it gives off steam. But if you know that it's a physical change, gas was one of our indicators for chemical change. So we need to be careful that uh, even though a gas can be given off in a chemical way or a physical way, phase changes in particular, if you know it's a phase change, it's the same before and after, it's physical. And then the same two definitions we can be used to be talk about their properties. Are properties chemical or physical? Properties are just characteristics. Um, if you're talking about a property and it relates to it being changed, it's a chemical property. If you talk about a descriptive property that just is true about the substance in its current form, it's physical. For example, if I said that water has a density of one, one gram per milliliter. That has nothing to do with new substances being formed. That's a physical change. So I would categorize that as physical. If I said that iron can react with air and turn into rust, well, when it oxidizes, it reacts with the air, that's changing into something new, so that's chemical. So we really talk about properties the same way we do chemical and physical changes based on the definition of new substances being formed or not.